Welcome to today's presentation. The topic is One Health Concept. At the background of this pandemic of coronavirus, today being the World Genesis Day, briefly I want to talk on this topic. It must be of interest for all the people related to biomedical studies or all concerned with health, mostly with scientific attitude. What is One Health? Human health is linked with animal and environmental health. One Health seeks to increase collaboration between human, animal and environmental health professionals. So you can see in the diagram, it needs the involvement of all the people related to health, including the biology, ecology, earth science, engineering related to environment and all the other medical su subjects. Why animal health? It is mainly due to genosis. Genosis is the transmission of disease from animals to human and the other way. So genosis from livestock, from pet animals and wildlife. Over 75% of emerging diseases are genotic. 60% of human pathogens are genotic. Most agents of bioterrorism are also genotic. Mostly the disease process across species are also shared. In the diagram, you can see the cause of all these kind of diseases coming more from animal to human and other way. Food security is one of the reason for all this. There is no global health without global food security. Food security is linked to global health and global sustainability. And agriculture and food security form the foundation of civilization. Many emerging diseases like Ebola, Zika, Chikungunya, SARS, Nipah, Mars, COVID all are mainly due to deforestation, environmental degradation, which are related to food security. And the global climate change also affecting the food security and indirectly is linked to emergence of all this kind of disease. Genosis went both ways. As I said, the diseases from animals can come to human and it can go from human to animal. Mycobacterium tuberculosis appeared about 40,000 years ago coincided with human migration out of Africa. Two main lineages about 20 to 30,000 years ago found that second lineage associated with animals. Humans probably infected livestock. As I said, genesis can be from the livestock or farm animals, from the pet animals and also from the wild animals. Now briefly we will see about the livestock and the human disease. Way back in the time of Hippocrates, he recognized the link between human health and the environment like malaria uh, came as malaria. In the Middle Age, there came the devastating disease plague caused by the bacteria Yersinia pestis. But actually it was spread through the fleas and carried by the rats. At the beginning of 18th century, some of the greatest discoveries in medicine and public health were made at the intersection of human and animal health. Briefly we are going to see and there is the background for the cause of disease transmission between health and animal to understand and the origin of one health. In 18th century we know about the devastating disease that is smallpox and for the first time the vaccine was discovered from the cowpox and it was Dr. Edward Jenner who developed the vaccine and used it for the first time. In 19th century, first time the germ theory of disease came, Louis Pasteur, French chemist, studied chicken cholera, that is Pasteurella maltosida, and Robert Koch, German physician, studied about anthrax. So first time they discovered that diseases are due to the germs. In 19th century, Rudolf Virchow, a German physician and pathologist, said, between animal and human medicine, there are no dividing lines, nor there should be. He coined the term genosis for the disease coming from animal to human or human to animal and he is considered as the father of modern pathology. The modern meat inspection started as early as 19th century. Virchow's father was a butcher. Animal experiments on life cycle of trichinella spiralis in pork muscle was done those days. Studied cysticercosis and tuberculosis in cattle also at that time. So we are trying to understand the link between the animal disease and human disease. In 19th century, Sir William Oslor, who 
was a human medicine doctor later went to germany and studied with virchow and he developed the veterinary pathology for studying the animal diseases in 19th century some more discovery made about the animal diseases like theobald smith and a veterinary doctor kilborn they discovered the babesiosis in cattle and they also laid the foundation for the discovery of yellow fever now coming to the 20th century there are more scientific progress and lot of explosion of scientific knowledge medicine became increasingly specialized however the animal medicine and the veterinary practices and human medicine got more diverged so there was more separation between different branches of medicine and also the branches of veterinary medicine in 20th century new infectious diseases are emerged and that includes like dengue japanese encephalitis cholera ebola or h5n1 e coli new strain nipa zika sars mars etc and that's the cause of main worry and there is the need of understanding the application of one health why these diseases are emerging it is mainly due to increasing global population pressures deforestation and environmental destruction mainly for agricultural purpose or animal farming intensive agriculture and global trade and travel and climate change leading to global warming that is also affecting the health of animals and human and emergence of different kind of pathogens so now in 21st century it's a new challenge and there requires a new paradigm shift and that is the understanding of one health and its application so many new genetic diseases and other metabolic diseases like cancer cardiovascular disease neurological disease or degenerative disease and the other side the infectious diseases as i told already and some of the new ones like sars mars ebola nipa zika and the latest one is sars cov 2 so these are the new challenge uh, under this situation we need to understand the application of one health as a most important necessity as i already said human and animal health are symbiotic pets livestock and wildlife are very much connected to human health benefits our physical health benefits our mental health benefits our social health and benefits our environmental health here very briefly we will see the role of pets in physical health owning a pet improves human health but there are certain risk it helps in reducing the blood pressure helps in reducing the allergy is in children or helps in motivating the exercise but as i said the pets can be a cause of zoonotic disease so some people are at greater risk so we should be careful while keeping pets chronically immunosuppressed people are more risk like hiv aids organ transplant recipients people with autoimmune diseases pregnant women or infant and very young children so though pets are important but that's the source for zoonosis so there needs a combined approach of animal health and human health pets also plays important role in modern life in the cause of mental health disorder because more and more people are living alone isolated and having more mental health disorder in that case pets are very useful to reduce the feelings of loneliness reduces depression many people carry the pets and many time animal assisted therapy is also done now briefly about environmental health it includes also the plants the ecosystem and all the aspect of biosphere so when the environment is healthy the people will be healthy the animals will be healthy environmental health is very very important for the health of animals and human being environment includes the soil air water and the plants everything in the biosphere are interconnected so if we keep the environment well and healthy free from all kind of pollutions then only the ecosystem will be good the plants will be good the animal health will be okay and the human health also will be good so how to promote one health it needs a multidisciplinary approach 
normally the veterinary health professionals are more suitable to connect with the one health there should be better establishment of interdisciplinary inter species conferences integrate human animal and environmental health professionals educate the policy makers politicians public about the importance of one health so there should be prevention intervention and recovery rehabilitation that's the multidisciplinary approach for promoting the one health finally i will summarize human animal and environmental health are linked a healthy environment benefits everybody one health concept provides an important strategy to improve the lives of all species animals suffer from many same diseases as man so new therapies would benefit all plants and animals improve people's physical mental social health animal and human health professionals should work together to prevent zoonotic diseases especially in high risk groups finally this is the one health umbrella showing everything under one umbrella including the environmental health ecology veterinary medicine public health human medicine modern molecular biology health economics it is showing the individual health is connected to ecosystem health and different aspects of other professions are also linked together thank you for watching